Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install Ice Cream Sandwich to your HTC HD2. First thing you need to do is download these two files, the links for those will be in the description. First one is the ROM file um, for your device, which you'll need to flash. You also need to flash this CLK kernel um, if you're using the CLK method, which I'll be showing you how to do in this video. There is also a magloader um, method, which is pretty similar, um, but for this video I'm going to be showing you how to do it in CLK. Also, before you do this, I suggest that you make an Android backup. I've got a video on that if you don't know how to do it. And um, also a warning that the device, or the ROM even, isn't fully functional. Um, so your device isn't fully functional with this ROM, as there are a few bugs. Um, so things like calling the camera hardware acceleration is not working as of yet, but uh, the, the porters are working on it. So um, I'm sure that in the near future, all these things will be working. So just a word of warning. You shouldn't be using this for your, your daily driver, this is just a bit of fun, just testing it out uh, and see what ice cream sandwich is like. So once you've downloaded those two files, you need to copy to them, them to the root of your SD card, um, which I've already done. So once you've done that, put the SD card back in your phone, um, and you'll need to go over to your phone now, like so. What you need to do is boot your phone up into the bootloader screen. So turn your device on while holding down the volume key like so the volume down key even and now your device will boot up like so and you need to plug the USB cable in and the other end into your computer and then you'll see it change there and it'll say USB in there so now you've got it in this three color screen I'll go back to the computer and show you steps from there. Now what you need to do is go to the description and download the setup file for HD2 Android NAND toolkit what this allows you to do is it automates the installation of Magloader uh, CLK, uh, repositions your device, installs Clockwork Mod, so it's a really helpful tool. If you've not got this, then I suggest you get it. There is a manual way, but I'll be only showing you the automated way uh, through the NAND toolkit in this video. So now you've got your device in the three color screen, I would suggest you do a task 29, which is uh, wiping the device completely. So press, click this uh, tick box here like so which will make it automate the process and then press wipe task 29 with your device still in the bootloader the three color screen press ok let your uh, device do its thing and now I'm going to go back over to the device and uh, show you what's happening on here as you can see a uh, progress bars come up and once it gets to 100% what you need to do again is hold down this volume key like so and wait for the device to reboot so it needs to re reboot back into the bootloader so that we can install CLK and Clockwork mod. So once that's done it's rebooted and it's back into the bootloader like so. We can go back to the computer and show you what to do from there. So now you're back on the computer and you're on the HD200 NAND toolkit once you've got that open. You need to go onto CLK repartition at the top, tick this little box here and make sure on the right it says 200 megabytes make sure that's selected and a 5 megabyte cache size so now click repartition press ok allow your device to do its thing again a progress bar uh, just like before will come up but this time you don't need to hold down the volume down key just let your device uh, let the progress bar go to 100% and let your device reboot what it should do now is reboot into the CLK screen, uh, the fast boot mode. Um, if you haven't installed CLK before, I suggest you check out my video because uh, there's a few drivers and stuff, there are just a few drivers and things that you need to install uh, to your computer for your device to be recognized if you haven't done this before. So I suggest you check out my video on how to install CLK uh, if you haven't done it before and then come back to this. So now your device is in fast boot mode, like so. You should see some text coming up on the screen. What you need to do is click CLK install recovery and then press install here. Click OK or yes. And then a command prompt will come up. So like it says, press any key to start updating. Uh, again, press any key to start. And it should start to flash the recovery. So you can see what's happening on the phone side here. It should only take a few seconds, um, and that's it. So now on the command prompt, you can see that it says, uh, please press any key to reboot your phone and go back to NAND 2 So press enter, 
and your phone should reboot like so and what you need to do is as it's booting up hold the home button hold the home button down and it will boot into uh, recovery so just wait for that to happen there you can see we're now in clockwork mod recovery and you need to go to install zip from SD card if you can see that and choose zip from SD card and go down to the Nexus HD2 Ice Cream Sandwich Beta 1.zip and press the call button. If you don't know, like I said before, if you don't know how to use Clockwork Mod, I suggest you check out my other videos um, as you'll need to know how to use Clockwork Mod and CLK and stuff like that. So install the ROM, uh, wait for it to do its thing. I'm just going to skip this part. Right, now that the ROM has finished installing, what you need to do is uh, choose zip from SD card again and now you need to flash the CLK kernel from ICSB to 1.zip so again press yes that should only take a few seconds uh, now that's done you can go back by pressing the end call key and you can press reboot system now and your device should reboot into ice cream sandwich um, I'm going to do another video on uh, the features and stuff of Ice Cream Sandwich and showing you how it works. So, thanks for watching this. Um, credits to Taitung for actually making this ROM work and porting it over uh, successfully. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.